Hello and welcome back to Transports Viva 2, the UK modded series. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. Lost some out. We built the route or continued building the rival railway route from Kings Kingston no Kings Bridge over to Taunton with the Great Western Railway style stations. In fact, Taunton would be one of those stations in real life that would have had a station, one of those towns that would have had a station just like this one. So it is quite realistic in that regard. Now in this video, I'm going to continue with the building, but we are not going to be focusing on Taunton at this particular point in time, and I'm not going to be setting up trains just yet. There's still a little bit left to do before we do set up trains. So we're going to go all the way back to Kingsbridge. I think it is Kingsbridge. And from Kingsbridge, we're going to do a little bit of farm work and move north to Stratford-upon-Avon, which I do not believe Strat... No, Stratford once upon a time could have been served by the Great Western, because the Great Western did have quite a wide, wide area of operation. So perhaps that was... um maybe maybe served by great western railway anyway nevertheless that doesn't matter what i'm going to be doing is setting up some farms redesigning a little bit of stratford upon avon and then building the railway to it just as i have done for the three cities over the last or three towns over the last two videos so make sure you stay tuned for that I'm going to be going pretty quickly as I have been and the detailing is not going to all be there around the railway that will come in a later video so let's get started and of course if you do like these videos please remember to click on the like button or the thumb, thumbs up whatever they call it now and subscribe to the channel and leave comments with your thoughts and suggestions I have read a couple of the latest comments so I do appreciate that and I may respond to them in this video if not I will definitely get around to uh, writing something uh, on what well, responding to the comments anyway let's get started let's build up the next part of this rival railway up to Stratford upon Avon okay first things first is I'm going to redo Stratford upon Avon so that should only take a few minutes but let me just have a look at a couple of the comments so um the viaduct being lower down that was something that uh, was suggested in terms of uh, or said that they they love the new viaduct look with the realistic having it a tad would have had it more realistic having it a tad closer to the ground maybe in a different style since it's a rival railway now that's a good point styling may be an option although that being said they would probably get the the bricks from the same location now in terms of putting it a little bit lower to the ground i shall have to have a look at that and see if there is a way to bring that slightly slightly further down but certainly i do i do see where you are coming from on that and then somebody did ask that about my fields having no gates well unfortunately if i were to put gates in every field that would take and a substantial amount of time and that is time that i tend not to have i'm afraid so i'm not going to put gates on every field occasionally a field as time goes on i may put uh, a gate on it but certainly not not at this point in time now i need to figure out which roads are what so i'm going to pause this so I can find the right roads. So it's one of these town roads. It's that one and that one, I believe. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the larger road. We'll do it from here. And this road can... How far will this one go? In fact, I think I will take it right the way up to that probably a good idea over here this road will eventually i think end up being connected but i'm not going to do that just yet so for now for now what i'm going to do is I'm going to make an adjustment to these roads so this piece is going to change 
let's me demolish this bit as well. And I'm going to actually do this. Not strictly the the way it perhaps should be, but I'm going to try it nonetheless. And then this can just feed in. I suppose I could just feed it in as a sharp corner, like so. There we go. That could work. And then this can come across here. I shall upgrade that. So that is all done. Uh, this road goes out as well. So the way I'm going to do this road, I'm actually going to make an adjustment here with this road actually peeling in more towards the center like that. And then this road can be upgraded there and there. That would work. And then this bit perhaps just upgrades like so. I think that is suitable. Now let's me go ahead and build some additional roads. So I could always do one going across like that. One going across. Again, I've got to try and get that 50 meters or whatever it's supposed to be. So just trying to at least make sure that I can fit larger houses and the proper houses in in this section otherwise it would be a bit annoying so if i do that there we go so we have three of those and then for this one perhaps i will do this so i'll turn this in to come across at a diagonal whereas this one comes across straight up and then turns in like so demolish that actually let's make this a little bit more there we go that could work sort of come on there we go that is a little better and then off this I can build some some roads so we'll just build a isn't quite straight build trying to build 90 degrees off can be a little bit difficult uh, and then if I was to do this and this There we go demolish that bit i could always build this down if i wanted if i wanted to but i think i'll just do that and for this one i'm going to do that so we're going to build sort of a i was going to do like a grid pattern here but perhaps not the best idea I also save is i would say it's early but i started this up a little while ago so it isn't quite as early as as it may seem so perhaps if i do that wait for the ozo save to finish build it up and across and then see from there what i can do come on come on there we go so if i do this and then perhaps just rope it around like that that will then give me the ability to if i wanted to just build a little bit of housing in this area so that is perhaps something to look at going forward into the future uh, similarly if I make this perfectly straight I can always do that that isn't quite right there and I can build just a little bit of housing around the back of this should I want to so that would be enough to do some housing there and there that will do so that that is that bit of 
Stratford, I think, completed. We could do a similar thing here, but I'm going to peel things off in, in this direction and then let them connect up there and then have the a little block just here. Now, acute angles are... We find them in the UK, but we try to keep things more towards... Uh, 90 degree angles when when connecting the roads but certainly we you do occasionally have uh, sharper angles here and there this isn't quite as this isn't quite as uh, commonplace as you might think but it, it is it is there so certainly it is not like america where everything is a grid of 90 we we would have so you do try and get as close to a 90 as you can on the road and then sort of uh, peel off, do the, do the curves afterwards. So, how far is the 50 metres for this? Yeah, let's just do a in the middle one. Not quite. There we go. That should do. So I can, I can leave that like that. And if I wanted to, I could just connect this bit up there, but I'm not going to. Uh, this is going to be good enough, and then perhaps on the opposite side, yeah, I can I can probably do this, I'll do this, and then we could have this could be an interesting junction. Yes, this could be a very interesting junction if I can manage to pull this off. So it isn't. It, it isn't quite, as you can see, it isn't quite lined up. You have to go across, which, funnily enough, we do have that in the UK. Those kind of junctions are a thing. So if we just do that, connect that up like that. And then in here, we could probably do a bit of a block. So if I were to pull, up, pull it out from the middle here... Do that and then turn this in like so. You could probably have some housing just along this area, so that would be fine. And then on this side, if I really wanted to continue this road all the way across, but I think that is probably not the best of ideas. So, what I'll do is I shall do this, try and keep some way we we can have some housing along here there we go i think that should be okay on that side then coming back down uh, over on this side i'll have to decide how i want this bit what i think i would do i think i would do this in fact i am just going to attempt it so I'd probably do this and then connect that up with a slight curved curved one. Do perhaps do that. And then right, what what is the gap between this? A little bit too big. Let me make that a little smaller. Just about there. That gives me a, the opportunity to put another one just here but you see that's a pretty sharp turn so what I'll do is I would do that and then turn this around and that would also allow me to do something along these lines see and then I could build an extra bit there my computer's making a slight bit of noise. I'm going to now knock it. There you go. If you pick that up, that was me knocking, tapping my the top of my computer. I think it's a, a fan bearing or something like that. Something's vibrating in there, uh, so I need to I need to be aware of that. Similarly, over here, I think what I might do. No, 
I'm going to leave these quite long. In London, we, we tend to have some like this where the road is incredibly long and incredibly straight. Just a whole bunch of them. So there we go. That is Stratford-upon-Avon done. Unfortunately, it is not upon Avon. Maybe I will add a stream to this one at some point and just say, well, I need I need the, the River Avon here. Oh, that's still making a rattling noise. Okay, well, I shall fix that at, at a later time. Hopefully that shouldn't be picked up on on the microphone. If it is, I do apologise. Now, next thing to do is to get these farms done. So let me begin by doing... Uh, which, bit sh which bit should I do? Let's do this bit, this bit and this bit very quickly. This should not take too long at all. So I think... Uh, let's start with... Not that. Start like this. Bring this across. Now, obviously, I want to do this fairly quickly... Uh, I managed to do it fairly quickly in the last video, but I certainly do not want a another one hour plus video. So time lapse is, of course, always an option, but it all depends on how much I have to time lapse. Uh, one hour of time lapse would shrink down to about twelve minutes, so not not particularly that much in the way of video that being said i suppose it is still the same content going through so in in that sense perhaps it doesn't really matter whether i time time lapse something or not now what i want to do here is i was going to do this let me attempt this I want to try and give this a little bit more of a natural... I'm trying to get some more natural styles in here. I've noticed that now and then I, I tend to start actually putting a, a real pattern in. And obviously these farms, they have some patterns, but not a lot. So every now and then I, I have to try to break the pattern. And that is what I am attempting to do here. So there we go. That, that is... That looks okay. That section looks done. I shall just do this bit. And then we'll move on to this section. So how do I want to do this? Do I want another one of these? No. What I want to do is... I want to have a farm go down along there. That looks good slightly larger farms there that that looks okay now on this side i am going to start here and i do see a line i wish to follow so i'm going to attempt to follow said line and i think i've managed to just about do it there we go that works and i shall split this one in two and your feedback on whether these farm sizes are too big, too small, would be really quite useful. Uh, that Yes, it would be very, very useful to, to know what you all think of these farm sizes and designs. Because it is difficult to really determine whether or not a farm would be... is accurate in size obviously if, if i'm looking at it from from here i look at that and say it's reasonable they all look reasonable there are varying sizes which is what you would expect but never in entirely sure whether or not that the size is good enough essentially so it would be yes it would be very very good to to get some feedback upon that now I know that there there has been some feedback with the farm so the smaller ones perhaps they, you could do something else with them which is something I, I am going to do that looks okay what I could do is break that make that go across here split that a little there's something I could do I could do that and then this break that 
Bring that across there and then build this in the same way that one is. All the way across, connect it up to that and then demolish this. There we go. Although that then that messes this bit up. Actually not not so much. So I can then I can then do that and connect it up. There we go, that that looks okay. I'm, I'm not too sure about this bit. Okay, so that is that bit and that bit done. I was going to do this bit. You know what, whilst I'm at it, I might as well. Let's do something along these lines. Now, I also know that the farms will need some extra trees everywhere because that is something that, of course, needs to be done. Uh, so there, there will be clumps of trees which will have an impact on, on the shapes of the borders of the farms. But still, it would be useful to... I'm going to have to fix that at some point. It would be useful to have better shapes to, to begin with than putting the trees in and then redesigning absolutely everything. Uh, why are you like that? I did say I could do this to avoid... There is something I can do to avoid this whole connection thing. No, apparently not. There is something I can do, I just need to figure out how to do it. There we go. Now, now that is technically not connected, but it looks connected. Ah, that is not what I meant to do. There we go. That is what I wanted to do. So this this one can go across here and then just peel in this way. That will do. I suppose I could cut this farm just about here. There we go. I have a cut there. That looks reasonable. And then it's just this this little bit along here I need to worry about. Which I could fairly easily do. How far into this video am I? 22 minutes and I haven't even started laying a railway yet. Uh, that could be a problem. I will get the railway put in in this video. I'm not going to just say, oh no, I'm not going to do the railway. Um, I, I will get that railway put in. There we go. Okay, let, let's stop with that for now. Let me do this bit and then work on where the railway is going to go. So if I connect up this this bit like so to start with and then I focus on bringing each one of these around. Yes, if I bring each one of these around this should work quite well. There we go. And then this one, oh, what I could do with this one is bring it, hang on, there we go. I could either, right, I could either, either do this or I could bring it that way. No, I think it's, it is better this way. So... Let me do that. Ah, once again we have some issues, but I can fix that by by not connecting them. There we go. Job done. Bring this one across. This looks like this looks like a reasonable one. Starts with you, and just have it sort of. There's a bit of a, a downhill gradient going on here. So I'm just trying to have it follow the curve a little before bringing it right the way across. And I am actually going to do this. We're going to have a, a small farm here. 
So that is that bit done. And then I shall do this. Leave that farm large. And make this farm that size. Leave that farm large. Yes, I think that is that is reasonable. I do not need to do this bit yet, so that is not to nothing I need to worry about. I may need to do this bit, but as you can see, this is all going uphill, so maybe farms are not going to be here. So that is why I've not done any of this. I could do some farms along here, but again, I'm not entirely sure. So what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to start figuring out where the railway and the station needs to go. So we have two options here. I could either turn, try to turn this around here, which is probably not ideal, or I could bring it along this way. And I think that is probably a better option, and then try to peel it through this side, which means that perhaps some farmland will need to go in here. But realistically, looking at how hilly this is, maybe there will be very little in the way of farmland here. The station, I would like to put the station here. This is where the station is going, and this is going to be, uh, do I want it to be a pass-through station? I do not think so. I think this station needs to be one that just ends. But how do I place it here? Okay, option. Here's, here's, here's the choice I have. I go ahead and do this. I could place the station at the end, or I could just do this. This is station approach. There we go. And then the station goes in right there. So then I could put a bus stop right here with actually just one platform at the moment. So that is where the bus stop would go. And then this is where the railway goes. And 120 meters. And we could have, I suppose there could be houses on that side, so the railway station goes behind it. So we bring the railway station about here. In fact, now wait, let me check how big these houses are going to be. Not the warehouse. How much would a, how big would one of these be? Quite small. Oh, you could have a, Backyards on these, which is about that big. Okay, how big would these ones be? Oh dear, is that going to crash? No. They're interesting houses I could place in. Warehouse? No, no, no. The These houses, how big are the, these going to be? With, with garden, please. Uh, or should I say with fence? About there. These are, these are somewhat bigger. Okay. That is what I wanted to know. So realistically, if I were to place this about here, that gives us enough room to put those houses. That gives us plenty to put the houses in. So that is what I'm going to do. Place that in there. Job done. There is our... There is our um, railway. Is that in parallel? That isn't even parallel. There is our railway. Does not put does not put it parallel. Although this is going to be a little bit difficult because this road is not parallel. As the the road isn't straight. Sorry, the the road is yes far from straight. But I need to give it a little bit of room. So I'm going to put it there. There we go. That is the station now in. So this is going to be an interesting one. Let me go ahead and immediately make 
the adjustments to the tracks that need to be made. So 25 miles per hour, in you go. There we go. So that is, those adjustments have been made immediately. And then how are we going to run this? So I could run this out here and then it would have to try to go downhill, which is where, we, where we're going to run into the problems. And then of course, we've got to bring it across this side. So I'm going to attempt it anyway, but we'll start from here. I think this is the the better place to start from. And I shall just do start with with this one. And we are going to try to get an understanding of where this track would need to go. So I'm, I'm going to assume it needs to perhaps try to go along here follow along this way so we had this little dip which is okay follow along this way come around here and then just try to well come across this area and then start very gently dropping. Yes, I think that is the option we need. So it needs to stop very gently dropping. And if you look at that, it is sort of working, but then it's, then it's going to end up going underneath something. So we need to be a little bit careful about that. Bring it across this way and then try to connect it over and across. So if I do this and then try to not do that try to keep it straight and flat and we're going to go across this bit which is perfectly fine so we'll try to keep it straight through there but that is going to be digging down and underneath so we've got to be aware of that too so i'm going to have to use the there's a few things i'm going to have to do here um, one of them is going to be could I? Yes, I can do that. So one of them is going to have to be a bridge. Um, because that is not... Oh, that cannot be a bridge, though. Ah. Wait a minute. Unless it can be a bridge. I think that can be a bridge. Now, I think that is good enough for a bridge. So the way I'm going to do this is from here, we'll lift it. And although I'm lifting it, doesn't mean that it is going to... See, it just about becomes a bridge just there. So I need to, I need to get it to a point where it's just before the bridge, which is there. Then let it become the bridge give it the standard one of these bridges oh not that one and let it figure out let it figure out how the bridge needs to go which is that okay good and then after it's done the bridge we need to why is it taking so long why is this lagging and then after it's done the bridge we need to get rid of the bridge and we are going to have, end up bringing it down again or or hold on hang on hang on hang on no, no no we do not get rid of the bridge not yet we continue the bridge to make it across that section there we go and then we bring it down and then there is where it needs to connect to so then we there is going to be an adjustment here then it comes down so we get rid of this start bringing it back down at a much shallower rate and 
turn it around there, break this one, turn it around like so. There's the connection we want. So do that, break this. And now we are in a position to actually break into this. And look at that, we, we have a really interesting section here now. And demolish that, certainly break, do that, but that's not quite the speed I want. So let's try and get a really high speed junction out of this. How do I get a, can I not get a 60 mile per hour junction? 58 miles per hour. Yeah, that's probably as close as I'm going to get. And similarly peel off along here. Okay. So that is the route. Now, which part of the route am I not happy about? I would rather, I would rather that this peeled off. So let me destroy this bit. And I would rather it peeled off in this direction quite, in fact, no, wait, because this may increase in size. Let's give it a little bit of that and then peel it off. And I, I would rather that it peeled off in this direction a little bit earlier. There we go. And then went along this way and then straight. And then let me see if I can connect this bit. Let's see if this is a little bit better than what I currently have. So that becomes straight. That becomes straight. Take, get rid of that bit. And that connects like that. And I think that may be a little bit better. What I really wanted is I wanted something where there, there is a hill on one side and not on the other. Actually, I suppose a little bit like this, where it's rolling. So you're on the side of a hill and clearly you're rolling down the hill. But unfortunately, that does not seem to be happening. I think I could probably do it here by adding some additional soil here. So topping this entire area up and then bringing this across. And then that is fine. Now, what I want to do here, I did say I wanted to do something is I am going to grab the assets. Is it the assets? It is. And I'm going to grab the marker start. It starts here. I'm going to end here. And I'm going to equalize this. It should flatten every, should make everything a lot flatter. Please. There we go. That is fine. Warning, low bridge. So we've got uh, a low bridge there and a very, very low bridge here. Uh, how low is this bridge? So if I was to do that, that is at 64. And then if I were to... Is it, there is a marker somewhere, isn't there? It's this marker. Does this marker tell me where we are? Uh, that doesn't really tell me. 20... Oh, wait. Yeah, 16 and... That marker is, no, it doesn't tell me. That's annoying. That is a very low bridge. I shall have to keep an eye on that. And then what I can then do is select from marker for multiple segments from here to autosave. Why? There is a section I want to do it until, until about there. Come on. Come on. I want to finish this video. It's 40 minutes long already. Any time now. Please. Maybe. Come on. There we go. Up to there. And I'm going to ramp equalize that as well. Make that nice and smooth. There we go. That is a much smoother descent now. It's a little bit, it is a little bit steep, I will say that. Then what I want to do is there, 
there appears to be an interesting right there's an an interesting development here between here and here i think i think between there and there we could ramp equalize and that is going to what start or end marker is missing i thought i gave it a start marker there to there ramp equalize please that might lift this entire section and it does exactly as i thought it would which means that i could make the stream go underneath which is always going to be quite good so that could work really nicely this actually this embankment also works fairly nicely so we're going up from uh, 135 meters to 155 meters. 20, 20 meter embankment. Now wait, that isn't right. Is this shows this as 152 meters and 167 meters, 15 meters embankment. It, it, it is a pretty high embankment. If we were to put a house here, for example. You can see that does tower over the house, um, which is perhaps not quite what I would want. But if we, what kind of house is this that I've selected? But if you do compare it to one of these, I suppose it isn't horrendous. It's certainly, it is certainly higher than I would want it on on this side. Anyway, I, I would much prefer embankments to only be about this. But I guess sometimes you have to have that embankment when it when the scales are scales are reduced, unfortunately. The other option is of course making this even lower. And if I were to make that even lower, how much lower can I make that without that low bridge being far too low? Or I make it all even lower and then we're not going to have this descent and that just connects us level crossing. Okay, comments, 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 comments. Should I redesign this bit to all be somewhat lower, maybe five or ten meters lower, so that this becomes a level crossing and this becomes in the future a level crossing and then we do not have this, this drop? That is the question yes that's that is the question to be asked uh, the way i'm going to demonstrate how this would potentially work is i'm going to grab i'm going to grab this and this is probably not the best idea and i'm going to drop this by 10 meters and see what happens too much slope um check those do it ah Dropping it by 10 meters drops it a little below where I want it to be. But it isn't that far down. It really is not that far down. I've just realized that in... That means that in, in this... Can we? In Transport Fever 2, we can now make roller coasters. 10 meters. And then... If I were to select right, I'm going to I'm going to do this. And then the suggestions can follow. There we go. And I'll just have to make the, the stream even lower than this. Would that be a more suitable design? It is the question. Or, or we raise this up to be a connection or dig this underneath is the other option. Turn it into a little tunnel instead. So for that, what I would do is I will raise this up five meters. Yes, I will raise that up five meters. I shall raise this up the same five meters there we go 
and then select between once again between there and there ramp equalize I am actually more inclined to do this yes I'm more inclined to do this and then what I could do is I could select from here to here and see if I can get that to ramp equalize too and it does very smoothly in fact okay so if you if you think this is a better option please let me know in the comments box and then what I am going to do is because we need to sort of have this completed I'm going to drop this by five meters where does it go it goes there and then if I were to select from here to there ramp equalize this everything is going to drop quite significantly collision okay so check collision and limits do that again yep that is now a bridge too small yeah, that that is definitely a bridge too small. I'm going to delete this. Oh, this could this could break everything. But delete that just to clear, just to keep this clear. Um, but that is then that leaves me with a much much smoother final section, as you can see. And overall, I think this is perhaps better. It is just, see that is a perfect height. So what I should do is I should grab this and lower it down five meters and then grab this and lower this down five meters. It doesn't even have to be five meters, but suddenly this is much better and then if I grab this section to there and ramp equalize that and then grab this section to here and ramp equalize that and what do you know you you've actually that actually that works that really really works exactly the way I would want it to so that is good. And then all I need to do is, I suppose, demolish from here and build that. And what do you know? You've got, well, actually, an even better option here is to do, to do this, build anyway. That allows me to demolish this section and that section. Then do the same here. Build anyway. Demolish this section and that section. And then just do this. There we go. Oh, that, not quite. Not quite, but certainly you get the idea that this is now working. I actually prefer this, and if you do too, please, as I said, leave a comment. But that is, I think, that section of the railway completed. There is a little bit more I need to do, so I'm going to do that now. So we go around here, go around here, and then I'm going to join this section up just here. Actually, no. We'll go a little bit further and join this up there. So that is that section. This is all single track. This is double track up to... So about here, I'm going to peel this off. Do that. And then we have double track set up there. And then the rest of this can remain single track the entire way. That kind of works. Um, also, I could... If I wanted to, again, 
I can smooth this little bit out, which I think maybe is a better option. Did I just paint something by, by mistake? No. There you go. Just smooth that out a little. Certainly down this side a little bit more. So I could make this just smooth down. There we go. That could work. Let that continue downhill and then straight. Put some trees. I guess I could make the trees come along here and then bring that over. Farmland wise, there's very little I think I can place in the way of farmland. I will place some farmland down here. I think this is where I am going to place some farmland. Up here, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. And, and this side, I guess I can place some farmland on this side. So I will do that in the next video. But for now, I think we need to, I need to come up with a screenshot. Not happy about how this has panned out though. Definitely not happy about this bit. So I'm going to have to, I am going to redo this bit just because I need this to, to work properly. Build that bridge. See, that is what I want it to, to look like. Yes, that is what I want it to look like, but without this bit here. So do that. That is okay. It's just this bit here. Are, this bit is always the concern. Should wait. Oh, it got rid of... See, why does it do that? It's done it again. I'm, I'm a little confused as to why it does this. Maybe, maybe I should just stop doing too much with this and just put so that that's one just leave it as it is I think I, I think I will I'm just going to leave that as it is and select the correct spots again and ramp equalize make that nice and flat there we go yes I think I think the better option is just to leave it uh, leave it like this. So that is what I'm going to do. Let me go ahead and get a screenshot. Let me find a, a better spot for a screenshot. Maybe here. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Let me have a look. You can sort of see the railway, or I could do... Hmm. Actually, I could do it from down here. That could be an interesting screenshot. Yes, let me try from down here. Uh, 35 mil. If there was a train there, that would be a good screenshot. Otherwise, that is a pretty poor screenshot, unfortunately. Um... I could just do this. Just showing an, a new railway being built. Yes, I, I could just do this as a screenshot. Bring it around here. Up here, that, that clearly shows a railway being built. Yes. So let me do that. That can be the thumbnail. And that is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. Ended up being an hour, nearly an hour long anyway. Uh, leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Now, what is left to do with this rival railway? Well, I was considering doing a Chagford to Stratford upon Avon line. I think that might be interesting, so just peeling it out this way and doing that. So that might be the next one I do. And then, I think that is it. 
that is how I'm going to leave this. So it was five towns connected. Uh, what I'm going to then do is I'm going to have a a bus route between Taunton and Chagford, a bus route between... Oh, there is something I do need to do. I better pause this. There are bus routes between Stratford-upon-Avon and Shepshed. Uh, so from here to there, that's the other option. And hopefully that should give me a good amount to a good amount of bus routes that would go between between towns which would be also realistic to what it would have been before railways got to got to it so i'm going to do that but that can happen again in, in the next video there's not much that needs to be done there Stratford-upon-Avon in and of itself looks okay, so I shall just see how that all works. But yes, that all looks fine. That is that bit done, so I do not have to worry about that. If you can do so, please do consider supporting me on Patreon. Link in the description box below. Uh, your supports would be massively appreciated. And also, you can find me on social media at ECGadgetLP for both Instagram and Twitter. And lastly, do go check out my Discord server. Link to that is also in the description box below. I've also realised that, aside from a little bit of Bridge North, the only town left to go that actually needs to be designed is Chagford. If you have a look at that, everything else... Uh, Batsley may need a little bit, but Chagford is essentially the only town uh, left to go. So there we go. We are getting, we are getting to the point of where the town detailing, at least the first stage of it, is all completed. And certainly with the railways, everything is starting to also look really, really good. As soon as Chagford is connected to Stratford-upon-Avon, I will start putting the detailing in and getting the railways, getting the trains running. Um, and then after that, we shall try to see how the two would merge together, the two rival companies merge together. As I said, that is all from me. So make sure you stay tuned for the next few videos by subscribing. And I shall see you next time in Transports Fever 2. The Do I want to take a screenshot of Stratford? Uh, perhaps I should. I am getting distracted. That's fine. There we go. That is all from me. And I shall see you next time in Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series.